Ladies and gentlemen, now for the official introduction, the fire fire of the red corner, weighed in at 58.8. He's 22, stunts 5, 7. He fights out of SBG Bishop Auckland and hail from Bishop Auckland, Joe Story. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 59. He's 20, stunts 5, 10. He fights out of higher level MMA and hills from that day, Paul Lally, your referee, Mr. Phil DeFries. Well, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, the action rolls on here to the Almighty Fighting Championships 22. This is a catchweight contest at 130 pounds. Two debuting young athletes, but look at the teams they come from. You've got Joel Story fighting out of the red corner, representing SBG Bishop Auckland. Dangerous Davy Grant in his corner. And then, of course, on the other side, Paul Lally making his debut, representing higher level mixed martial arts. James Doolan's team up in Scotland. Two great camps being represented here by two debuting amateurs. I absolutely love it when you get to see two camps which typically produce very quality fighters come out and have two debuting fighters like this because you don't know who you're watching. You, no. could, you could be watching the next AFC champion, you could be watching, you know, a future Cage Warriors champ, who knows? Absolutely. And for two guys making their debut, both look calm, collected. Started, starts with exchanges on the seat. Both have had a chance to capture the leg and try to get in on the clinch, but takedown defense, clinch work, Fairly equal so far on both sides. Ooh. Yep. Nice slip there by Paul Lally and then landed the right hand and nice big body shot once again. It's Paul Lally engaging in the clinch, yeah. yeah. Now Lally's hey. backing his man up a little bit now. And then moves back to take the center of the space again. Very active is Joel Story. Carries his hands very, very low for a debuting fighter. Obviously very confident in his striking, Ooh. but he's got to be careful. Yeah, he flicked that kick up very quickly there. Yeah, Lally will do that. Oh, in on. Again, Story going for the takedown. Yeah, and Lally not wanting to engage and, and managing to push him on, then lands a couple of very big shots to the body. Punishing kicks to the body, already showing some redness on a on the body of Story there, who goes in for his fourth takedown attempt, but finds yeah. himself in a, in what seems to be a... No, he's worked, he's working his way out a little bit, got to be careful, he's controlling that leg. guillotine, yep. Out of it now. But he's got to do, now that he's got that, got that leg, he's got to start to do more. Lally doing the right thing, framing on his opponent's hip with his shin. Putting all his weight back into the cage as well. Story needs to get his shoulders to his opponent's hip so that he's able to use his shoulder to pull his opponent's hip down to the mat. Not quite close enough there, but firing off a nice pair of left hands there and a left body kick. So far though, Lally doesn't look too, too worried or concerned about Nice to the body there, changing it up. As soon as he gets his man up against the fence, Lally is unleashing some pretty ruthless combinations here. And then again, nice move, a great work by Lally to keep his man back to the cage and again rips away to the body. Ten seconds left. Well, and that again, seems to be here. a nice right counter there from Story. Oh, oh, and a big head kick! We gonna say and we just at the end of the round. Oh my, I can't wait for number two. What a great finish to the end of that round. Beautiful head kick there from uh, from Lally. Both fighters had some moments in this round. It looked like Story wanted to work the clinch a little bit more, looked like he was trying to control the leg to get the takedown, but Lally refusing to give up the takedown every time in the clinch. He managed to back himself away, and at the end of the round, started to land some heavy shots. Interesting to see here how Joel Story uh, mixes up his wrestling after he uh, chains a few things together, because fairly simple fixes, you know, if he's framing on uh, on your hip with his shin, maybe switch up to a double leg, attack the other leg instead, you know, or try and pull his leg back in between yours. There's a number of things that he can do, but we don't really know the next stages of Paul Lally's takedown defense because he didn't need to do much past the first phase. That's it, yeah. 
He did enough to keep the fight standing. He, he managed to disengage every time. Took very little in the way of punishment or damage when he'd been clinched. We'll see what adjustments Joel Story makes. Story pushing forward. The story's got a nice left hook. He's he, he's mixing it up well to the body as a straight, and then nicely up top. He's in on the leg there. He's got the leg in. But oh, Ball. but has he been cut? Is he just gonna? Is he gonna use it to try? Yes, that looks this like looks it's tight. tight. That looks Ball very is tight. A lot of pressure. Oh, oh, oh he's, he's out. Technical no. Wow. Technical submission. What a Bravo. finish! What a finish! John Jones, eat your heart out. Oh my! He got a hold of that neck. He well, kept he sh adjusting. Showed it in the first round, and he threatened him with it. Said, hey, if you try and take me down, I'll hit you with this guillotine. Story thought he'd try again in the second round, and then Paul Lally said, well, have a look at this. And this debuting young man, second fight into the card, could be walking away 250 pounds to the good after that finish. Look at that, pushes it really deep, uses his other hand, goes palm to palm, applies so much pressure. Yeah. Look at him driving he, forward with his hips there. He didn't even give him time to tap. No. What a finish from the higher level mixed martial arts prospect. This Paul is what Lally. I mean about debuting fighters, Ooh. Paul. Ooh. I can't wait to see Paul Alley again. Me neither. What a fantastic debut, and Coach James Doolin has got to be pleased with that. Brutal body kicks through a beautiful guillotine. Phenomenal performance. Great fight. Entertaining. Absolutely. Got, Joel brought it, didn't he? Yeah, you got a feel for story. He got caught in it. It got tightened up. He couldn't tap. What a... Uh, I love, I love Almighty Fighting Championships. That was fantastic. What a great matchup. And then we're only two fights in. Already two fights in and... Well, it's going to take some finishes to take that 250 pounds out of this young man's pocket. Ladies and gentlemen, after 38 seconds of the second round, your referee, Mr. Phil DeFries, calls a stop to the fight, declaring your winner by guillotine, Paul Lally. Please show your appreciation for Joel Stormy. A great win there for Paul Lally.